exhausting day, but um, you know, I I listened to Hillenbrand Stadium at the end there, and that just it was definitely why this place is so special. And um, and then the kids made it special tonight. You know, just a, a great gutsy performance. Um, kids stepping up at the right time, and that's what postseason is all about. You know, you get one opportunity and. You know, we tried to give it away a few times, um, but uh, we hung in there. And um, you know, as a coach, I feel feel very good that this team has learned how to compete and um, has learned how to battle. And uh, we're excited to move on to uh, where we're going. I don't, I have no idea, but Baton yeah, Baton Rouge. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I, I was born in New Orleans, so anyway. But anyway, it was a good game. Question. Well, at the end. I mean, how well, that's that's kind of what you you hope, you know. I mean, those are the the kids that have the the database and the maturity and the game savvy. And you know, one of the great things I've always said about this game is not often do we get a chance to see our female athletes play the game at 27 years old, where they have it physically, mentally, and emotionally. And I think the closest thing is seniors in in college. You know, they've been through. Some some tough times and some good times, but um, you know they they were very well prepared and and um, you would hope that your seniors step up in a crunch. And Goody's uh, home run was probably the biggest home run that uh, I've seen her hit, um, and she's hit a few. But uh, Kelly Fox just battled her butt off. Um, you know Hallie, I thought really did a great job this weekend, and then Sweetos. Uh, what do you say? I mean, she uh, she's the one that made it happen there at the end. And then I was really pleased, you know, what th to have Trish come back in um, after uh, that first game. You know, we, we I was thinking about whether I should start her or not, and um, was a little concerned. And that's why we kind of had a quick hook and brought in Michelle, and, and Michelle did a great job for us for uh, the innings that she was out there. But um, you know, to see Trish come back in and shut the door down was hopefully a huge step for her and um, for both pitchers because when you move up the ladder now, it's it's definitely a game of uh, pitching, defense, and timely hitting. Michelle had pitched a pretty solid game up until that yeah. the transfer. What was your message to her after that happened? Well, you know, it's I think she gave us everything she had. You know, it's that, that last out's always a tough one, and that all happened with two outs. Um, got two quick outs, and feel like it's games under control, but I've always said that as long as you have outs that you have a chance. And Minnesota, I want to tip my hat to them. I think um, Jessica Allister has done a great job with that program. Those kids compete hard. They've got solid pitching. I mean, they're a very, very good team. And, and I knew coming in that they were going to be a tough team. So I feel very, uh, very fortunate that we, we got through it. Uh, tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna think about it tonight, but tomorrow. I'll take two more for coach. Seniors having advanced past the super regional. How much can you tell them how much they want to? Well, yeah. I mean, that's why athletes put on a uniform. You know, is get the College World Series, and and that has always been our goal. Um, but it's 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 a goal that you have to earn. And um, next week will be a. Uh, uh, another big test for us, being on the road, um, playing at LSU with Louisiana people that are crazy. And um, so you have to go out and you're going to have to beat them. You know, they're not going to beat themselves. And I think they came back today from what I heard and, and walked off. So they're on a high and we're on a high. And it's just a matter of right now who goes in there and who executes the game.